hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Liz and today is going to be all about lethal cosmetics now I created three three custom eyeshadow palettes spoiler alert they're all shimmer shades I'm gonna take off my glasses real fast uh, just to show you the look I created with them sorry about my glasses I typically never film without my glasses because it's annoying ring light um, that reflects on two glasses but um, today is a little bit of a rushed video sorry I work six days a week and I'm pretty much exhausted by the time I come home uh, during the week they're like 12 hour long days so I would love to film and upload at least once a week and sometimes it's just once a month and I kind of hate that like I would love to upload more but like anyways I'm rambling who cares nobody anyways so yeah uh, another disclaimer as if there weren't enough in this video I have three fans going yeah so uh, quick run through like I said I made three custom palettes I named each of them according to their color palette here's a hint they're all after like gemstones birthstones stuff like that comment down below your guesses to the names of the palettes i chose i will pop up a picture for reference for the birthstones and yeah let's get right into it so the first thing i want to do is quickly show you the website now with lisa cosmetics there are some palettes that are already created for example i think their most recent collaboration was with teresa is dead but primarily you can customize all your eyeshadow palettes to your heart desires. Again, I chose all shimmers because I have a huge collection and I don't need any more, you know, mattes. I can just focus on the shimmer shadows that I would adore. Here is going to be where my screen recording is. So now when you first, you first go onto the website, it's, you can, you know, buy what they have already. They have single pots and stuff like that or you can build your own palettes and they also have their advertising gel liners a lot of the empty magnetic palettes are sold out which kind of sucks so you're a bit limited as to what you can get but it's okay so they're cruelty and vegan so they're made in Berlin Germany so as far as shipping costs they do ship internationally I live in the US specifically New York and typically it's eight dollars for shipping but since my order came up I think above ninety five dollars you know the shipping is free so you can sign in and what they'll do is just save your custom eyeshadow palettes they have highlighters blushes bronzers and then face palettes gel liners single shadows their own palettes lipsticks you know lip glosses like lip lipsticks and you know just you can buy empty palettes if you choose so I'm gonna go to my account which I'm going to have to blur out so it goes to my account recent orders my stash um, and saved palettes and then my account details and shipping and stuff but I'm gonna block all that out and we're gonna go to view save palettes now lethal cosmetics does this thing and this just pulls up one of the eyeshadow palettes I'm currently working on which are all the leftover shimmer shadow shades that I wasn't available to get through the three other palettes or just didn't fit the aesthetic or theme or whatever I was going for the raw cost of like this specific eyeshadow empty palette and the eyeshadows included they run about six to seven dollars each eyeshadow including the matte shades so um, keep that in mind um, you could just buy a couple shades you, you don't I mean but then you have to pay if you're living in the US like nine dollars to chip out a couple shades so you might as well get your bang for your buck kind of scenario anyways so one palette um, 12 eyeshadows it roughly comes up to $89 but if you buy all 12 uh, if you buy all 12 single shades with the custom palette empty palette it brings it down to like $71 and then on top of that I also use a coupon code I don't know if it's affiliated but again it's by Teresa is dead it's garbage and it saved 20% which is like $21 I'll show you a screenshot in a minute the total cost for all the eyeshadow palettes they have different varieties of eyeshadow palettes the empty ones 12 shades 
nine shades, three face powders, stuff like that. But again, a lot of these are out of stock. So you could buy the ones where you just place them or you could buy the ones that have a slot for each one. Let me just see if I can convert it, which I, I'm sure you can. And they do have this thing where they can design an eyeshadow palette for you and it can base on the color. So it has the entire, you know, kind of like the color wheel, but like a linear form and you can just swipe it left to right. So I'm setting, I have it on blue, let's set it to red and it just creates a palette, matte shimmers, shades, set it all the way to the other side, dark blue, you know, any color of the rainbow, they have a customized palette you can just buy from right then and there. And you can choose if you want it or not. Brightness range, metallic shades, the variation, it, it, it all um, depends. You can be more thorough as to what kind of palette you're looking for. And they name it Pal. That's really cute. Honestly, that's really good technology. If you're not into having to create a whole custom palette and you're just like, I don't know, I like this kind of shade of palettes or this kind of, you know, blue, um, I like a more pink based palette or a red based palette. You can definitely go with the option of them designing a palette for you and you can just be like, yeah, I like this or, or I want more shimmers or I want more matte colors, you know. But well, we're just going to cancel that and delete this entire thing. But again, I have, and we're, I'm just going to go into them quickly. I have bronzers. I created a blush palette. This is more for darker skin tones, but I just wanted it just in case. And then another blush palette, which is more for my skin tone, and then another highlighter palette. So again, you can choose which palette, so I'm going to go into more. Now, the thing I had bought so many um, shimmer shades, they do star it for you. Now, um, there's so many different shadows you can choose from, but the ones you've already bought, they put a little star on the typer corner of each shade. They have like 10 highlighters, so not a huge selection. And like, I don't know, 17 uh, blush and bronzers. So they primarily focus on shadows, which is fine. So yeah, that's about everything that you might want to know about the website itself i'm just using the app so creating the palette might be better for a desktop format but picking it you can just grab onto it just press i know you can't see what i'm doing on my phone but as far as touch tone you just press on one of the shades or what have you and it tells you what it is how much it costs you know packaging ingredients all of that and if you want to delete it you grab it and you move it you know over over to delete or rotate you can rotate it if you'd like and how you want it to form on the palette but yeah that's everything you might want to know okay so now what you just well been waiting for i will provide time stamps okay so, i'm sorry i'm in like my nightgown like ready to go to bed <laughs> i'm so sorry okay so anyways so what I use today on my look, again, I'll show you. Very simple, easy, fast. So what I use on the majority of the lid was this little shade from Hoodoo Beauty's Obsession Amethyst. So this is it. Now I will provide screenshots of all the swatches and I will say all the names in just a moment. Okay. I had this little diagram of how I outlined my um. I won't show you, Jesus, the fan. I won't show you completely because the names are on there, but I'll show you just quickly. Now, put your uh, guesses down below as to what you think I named this palette. So, let's go just from left to right and top to bottom. So, the shade is Backdraft, Arcade, Covet, Euphoria, Descendant, Enigma, Synth, Revolve, Incarnate, Mainframe, Rebirth, and Spirit. So, now... 
this is it. <laughs> um, funny enough, this was the same exact name as the last palette we just saw, Amethyst. It's, it's more of a purple tone palette, so I was like, okay, this, this works for the theme, and I like the, it's a pretty name. So, yeah. And I will show you the screenshot of what the palette looks like when you're designing it. Now, with the summer shades, I only got to mess around with one of them. So, with the shimmer, I definitely recommend using a glitter glue because on the left eye I used a glitter glue and the right eye I didn't use a glitter glue. And with the right eye, there was a lot of fallout. I definitely had to wipe half of my face. I only use skincare, honestly, so I'm not, you know, shocked. But if you want to use these shimmer shades, you only need to dip in it once, honestly. Usually you have to build it up. Honestly, no. The color on the pan definitely reflects the color that you get on your eyes. Um, as far as just the one I dipped into, and the one I dipped into was Arcade, which was this one right here. Also, before I get any further, they all come individually wrapped. The extra palettes do not come built in the way you customized it, which I understand for the company would be a pain in the rear end. Um, I would curse, but you know, YouTube. With the packaging, let me just show you. So it comes like that on the back. It tells you the shade. And it does come with the sticker, but once you open it, so I don't know how to explain this, but I think they like pop the shade onto here, put the sticker on, and then folded it backward because a lot of the stickers go beyond the pan. So a few of them I had to take off the sticker after I took it out, the packaging, and then like reapply the sticker, which was a bit tedious and annoying, but it's it's a minor inconvenience. It's totally fine. But now if I had to do that for each and every shadow, I would be livid. Alrighty, anyways, moving on to the next palette. Comment down below what you think I named this palette. Now, again, hint, hint, birthstones, I think they're about 12. So this is primarily a white and blue toned shimmer shade palette. So I'm going to list the names top to bottom and left to right. My left is probably your right. So. So it's Serene, Idol, Astral, Arsenic, Nymph, Inhabit, Venom, Talesman, Ascension, Aerial, Equilibrium, and Stargaze. Now, I named this palette the Opal palette. Opal is primarily a white, but it definitely has flecks and colors of blue throughout the stones, which is why I called it the Opal palette. Fun fact, I didn't think about the names or anything until after I got it. <laughs> I was just designing the palettes myself. And honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself. Now, out of all three of the palettes, I love this one the most. And I don't know why, because greens are not the shades that I tend to lean towards. But I think it's so beautiful. So, the shades are called, again, top to bottom, left to right. I do do not know how to pronounce this. Sigil, moving on. Mirage, Vertex, Crypto, Lucid, Ether, Overdrive, Defiance, Vertigo, 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 Equinox, Symbiose, this one I definitely don't know. Uh, sy symbiosis, Symbiosis? I feel like this has to do with plants or something. I do not know. Um, Symbiosis, mm, wrong, I'll type it. And the last one is Lithium. So, again, put your comments down below what you think this is. This is palette number three. You could just say purple palette, I think this name is that. White palette, this name is that. And this one, green palette, this name is that. So I named this the Emerald palette. Now also, I don't wanna show you the mirror because it's gonna reflect off to my, my whole setup, which is a disaster. But it under right underneath the mirror, hold on. It says, objects in mirror are braver than they appear. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I don't know if you can read this, but I'm definitely going to take a screen, a picture and then post it. So it's just an outline of all the palettes and the names. Again, so you don't have to remember them. You can just take a screenshot. They're all one page if you want to recreate this palette or what have you, whatever the case may be is. I feel like most people don't want an all shimmer shade palette, but like, 
you customize it to what you want but if you do want something like this you know i was really proud of myself for making this palette i feel like everybody who gets into the customization of palettes be like i can start my own makeup company i can make my own eyeshadow palettes from scratch don't get yourself up liz nobody's collabing with you so as far as the cost each individual eyeshadow palette was about 71 to 72 dollars and it was a total of 214 dollars and 80 cents i did put it in the coupon code garbage and it took off 21 dollars and 48 cents and with international shipping it was free because it was over 95 dollars total cost and that came to 193 dollars and 32 cents now i did not pay this all at once i'm not going to like you know and if you have that money that's good too but i do not at the time so I split the cost to four different payments and instead of like Afterpay or Klarna that you do with in the US, I guess they use Zizel or Zell or something like that, Z-E-Z-Z-L-E. And either way, I split it up between four uh, payments over the course of six weeks, which is like $55 or $45 uh, a week every two weeks which is honestly pretty pretty reasonable and I'll probably pay it off beforehand. I ordered this Friday, September 10th. It was a little birthday gift to myself. That was my birthday and payday. So it came within less than a week. Honestly, they since it was international, they were like expecting me. They were guesstimating about 13 days, I think business days. And I was like, oh no. And they said they're gonna get here about September 24th. So I was not expecting it anytime soon and it came in less than a week. Like literally they had the shipping label the day I put in the order, which was fantastic. So yeah, that is everything I think. If you watch this video all the way through, comment down a little diamond emoji to signify stones a bit. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.